All right, fellas, another auction score. Uh, let's get to her. Uh, this guy was a uh, motorcycle repairman, small engines, that kind of shit. I actually ordered some parts from him, so I'd actually done some business with him before. Went ahead and sold out, quit and retire and that kind of stuff. Um, side note, he had a uh, toolbox there. There's the toolbox right there. $1,350. It was a KRL. That thing's 30 inches deep, 56 inches wide, and I mean, comes up to the tits on most men, if you know what I'm talking about. $1,350. Come on. Those deals are out there. If you really want a kick ass toolbox, go get you a kick ass toolbox. Find an auction. Or Craigslist or Marketplace ad, go buy a kick ass toolbox. I've had my stamp on max for 20 some years. Uh, nothing, nothing even competes with it. That one in a shop every day since 1998 when it was specially built for him. He made snap on make him that box. I tested every single one of those drawers, every single one of them worked. I've been using it for almost. 20 years that box was built in 98 looking at the back of it yeah uh deals on toolboxes are out there <laughs> you don't have to buy a brand new piece of shit one from china for you know four to ten thousand dollars you can get an american made one from back in the day it's going to outlast that one for you know god forever it's just going to outlast forever Anyway, rant. And you can buy a cheap Chinese box too if you want to. That 72 inch Master Force. Uh, 1600 bucks. Killer deal if you're talking about needing a brand new toolbox. Lifetime warranty. Uh, 1700 bucks, 72 inches. The thing's killer. This is right here. Mighty Vac kit. It come with the paperwork and all that. Jazz. I've always done brakes, uh, either one man method or have another guy pumping them. But I figured I'd go ahead and give one of these Mighty Vax a try. Uh, the guy didn't, you know, tear his shit up. Actually, that looks like a uh, compression tester right there. That's a compression tester for small engines. Uh, motorcycles, uh, stuff like that. I actually bought. A junk ass Harbor Freight compression tester just for uh, this type of compression right here where you just you can't get anything screwed in there because it's a different kind of weird thread and you just jam that puppy in there and hold her down as tight as you can while somebody else cranks it or you run the remote switch yeah, nice free still works yeah Gauge is a little mucked, but you know, that's probably something you can replace. Mighty Vac is still around, uh, made in USA. So, you know, this kind of shit up here, it, yeah, it costs a little bit to fix that, but it's something that can be fixed. You know, it's not the great big kit or anything, but she's a good kit. Should work good enough for me. <laughs> this was something they just threw in the box. Because they didn't know I was bidding on something. And uh, they threw this in there, so I ended up like buying, I think, the whole box. So there's the hammer. Here's the bits. Uh, I got them mainly for these little guys right here. Some of these are just full of crap. So it might not. It's going to take some work to get that out of there. It might not even be worth it. Die grinder bits. Kind of shit. Uh, made his own little special tool here. Uh, he had a lathe there. I should have bought the lathe because it only went for 50 bucks. A nice drill. Oh, 316 high speed still USA. That'd be a good one. I'll call it whole drills here. Kind of help clean some shit up around here. Next was these, uh, 
things right here. Uh, all snap on. Some of them I wrote down here quarter inch hex and torx. Uh, they're not all quarter inch. Some of these are three eighths. But uh, I know what the fuck I was talking about. So there's some different. I think he made those specifically for probably carburetor adjustment or something. I don't know. So we'll leave his custom grind on there for now. And if I need to, I'll just replace those bits because obviously you can read the part number and figure out what this was supposed to be. But this is the reason why I bought it right there. T25. Let's see if that's the right one. Nope, damn it, it's not. I need a T20 to complete one of those sets over here. But anyway, uh, tamper proof. So yeah, that's a good bit anyway. 1994. So, older bit. A couple more of these hex here. Uh, that's cool, that's a 5. Metric, love that. There's a 4. Yeah, yeah. Woo -woo. There's a six. All right. A couple of these here. Uh, you know, Phillips bits. Three and a two looks like there. Regular old standard. He's uh he's put his own grind on that one too. Got a couple of these small. Stubbies. See, there's a four. Nice. There's another four. What? There's a four. How's this one? Oh, that one's a five. All right. Whew. Gonna be pissed. Got two of the same thing. Six. All right. So there you go. Four, five, and six in the uh, stubby. Stubby and mid length. Good. But, like I said, $17.50. That's not a bad price uh, for one of these. So, you know, the rest are free. I did spend a little bit of money on this. This was, this is what kicked me in the ass. And uh, the reason it kicked me in the ass is because it was raining the whole time. So we have tarps over everything. And I saw a bunch of the pictures online and shit like that. So I kind of knew what he had anyway, but they were pulling shit out from underneath the tarp since it was raining and saying, okay, this is what it is, blah, blah, blah. And the motherfuckers, ugh, they couldn't tell me what sizes these were. And you know, I got there like an hour early to go look at this shit, but they got tarps all over everything. And um, I noticed they were metric, but I didn't see what all sizes they had. And I said, well, fuck it. It's worth a shot. Uh, I paid 60 bucks for these. It does go up to 17. Obviously, it's going to skip some sizes, and I have some bigger stuff anyway. There's a 14. It's probably a 12. Yeah, there's a 12. There's a 10. There's an 8. 7. 6. Five and uh, four. Oh, four, four through seven, eight. Skipped the nine. That's the reason why I bought this set. I knew it was metric, and I was like, "Oh, it's got to have a nine. Surely Snap-on doesn't skip sizes. No, they do. And uh, this guy actually, he would buy shit that he needed, and that was it. You know, that's why he doesn't have a complete set of anything really. It was uh." It was hard to go through his auction. I like buying shit in sets. I really do. But, you know, I have enough of this stuff left over from other stuff. And I make a set pretty easy. Um, first thing I bought, I got a picture right here. I couldn't figure out what brand this was. And this is one that I actually looked at quite a bit before I decided to buy it. Um, this guy right here is a Mac. And I'll put a picture in here. 
to show you. He sold one of these by itself for uh, $45 later on in the auction. Why the hell all three of them weren't sitting there together, I don't know. But it's because this one didn't say Mac. And they were real good at auctions about picking up tool truck names and shit like that and throwing them over in a section somewhere. And, you know, they'll sell a handful of sockets like this. They'll say, oh, snap on sockets, miscellaneous, blah, blah, blah. So, you gotta watch your ass when they do that kind of shit. But this one is a Mac, and it's a carburetor adjustment tool. See how the little gears right there work? Isn't that shit cool? Yes. No. Turn the knob. Turn the knob, fella. That's how she works. So yeah, great little tool here. Very low torque item. Actually, I don't think these come with a lifetime warranty. I don't know where I've seen that before, but these are just... You know, you go to fucking wrenching on anything is with anything more than your hand, and you know, you're going to screw shit up. So, don't. And the, the way they get you to do that is they say, look, uh, one year warranty on this. So, don't fuck it up. Yeah, quarter inch, nice. Works beautifully. Turn it left, the socket turns left, turn it right socket turns right. No miscommunication between the hand and the end that works. This one I bought with this one together. Held them up both at the same time. Um, and I knew what this one was. It's the same thing. It's just a little different. And what makes it a little different is it is a blue point carb adjustment tool here same thing you know righty tidy lefty loosey this one is quite a little bit older because uh, blue point USA even TM64 part number on that junkie go get you one I had a couple of guys that were interested in these in the very beginning uh, and they wanted them just because they were oddities they didn't actually know what they were for and um, it's one of the reasons why I didn't write down a uh, carb tool on it whenever I was there because one of the guys that was bidding against me was right next to me and um, he was bidding on it just because the oddity fact of him he's like oh I never seen anything like that before I'm sitting there going well you're probably never going to use one of them things either so but you know I didn't want him to know exactly what he was missing out on right after I bought it he can find this video. It's on YouTube. 130 550. So, yeah, not bad. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Love, hate, hardknocksforge at gmail.com. Don't too many panties. They never fit.